When you think of purchasing glasses, your mind tends to go to the thought of an optometrist visit, expensive frames, lenses, insurance policies. But in 2010, a small company of four set off to disrupt the established industry and change the way people purchase eyewear. Their message was simple. The eyewear industry is dominated by a single company that has been able to keep prices artificially high while reaping huge profits from consumers who have no other option. Warby Parker wasn't the first to sell glasses online at an attempt to disrupt the industry. In fact, they weren't even the cheapest. Eyeglasses.com, Goggles4U.com, Frames Direct, and Zenny Optical were all selling glasses for a lower price. Neil, the company's current co-CEO, had helped run a nonprofit called Vision Spring that trains women in the developing world to give eye exams and sell glasses. The idea was simple, create a brand that could deliver something as essential as glasses at a lower cost without compromising any of the looks. Morby Parker took a much slower approach to launching their online retailer. In fact, the founders often mentioned that it took six months and 2,000 choices to finally agree upon a name. The name Morby Parker derives out of early Jack Kerouac's writing, Morby Pepper and Zag Parker. A copy of the Dharma Bum is still given to new employees as a reminder of the company's roots. After receiving some funding and with just a few months till launch, Neil was approached by GQ Magazine about being featured in an article for their March issue. Unaware that magazine companies release a month prior, they believed that they would have three months to complete the website. After learning about the release schedule, the team crammed the entire site's development into one month. February 15, 2010, Warby Parker would launch their take on more affordable glasses. With the help from the GQ article, they sold through their inventory within 48 hours. While initially the idea was to have an online store only, Warby Parker did not completely change the eyeglasses industry, but they did create a powerful brand with a proven business model that offers an alternative to the traditional eyewear stores. And with the need for glasses on the rise, they still have a lot of work to do to put a dent into the sales of the current industry.